Okay guys, so I'm going to do something a little bit different here today. I am doing a tutorial on how to make an egg laying box for your leopard gecko. Now, first of all, you want a tub that is like a Tupperware box, or a circular one. And it's good if it's see-through, because it gives you an early indication if the dirt has been dug around. And if you raise it above you, you can sometimes see the eggs in the bottom. Now, of course, you don't ha actually need a see-through one, but it helps. Now on our website I was looking at, they suggested that a box that is 4.5 inches wide, 4 inches high and 8 inches long would be good enough for 1-3 to three females for egg laying. This one I've got here is about 6.5 inches in diameter and about 2.5 inches high. So it's not ideal. But this is just an example because the reason I'm doing this is because gizmo is ovulating and although it's very rare for leopard geckos to lay their eggs if they've never been bred with before, she did actually lay one last year. I'm trying to cut her out this um, ovulation time because she's not eating. So I figured if I put this in here maybe it will encourage her to just lay an egg but we'll see. Anyway, first of all, you want to drill a hole either on the side or on top. The reason I put it on top is because this is quite shallow anyway, and if you put it on the side, you can um, some of the dirt can come out, which is okay, but you know, either on top or on the side. This one is about two and a half inches wide, and this is definitely big enough for Gizmo to get in and out. Next, what you want to do is fill it up with eco -Earth. So I'm going to go and do that now. Now, once you've filled it up with eco if you want to spray it with water. Now, you don't want to spray it too much that it's completely saturated. You just want it so it can clump together a bit and it makes for quite good digging material. Also, if you do have an actual like fertilised egg, it does help it retain moisture so it doesn't dry out after it's laid. For me, that doesn't matter too much because this is most definitely probably going to be a dud, but that's just a little tip. Okay, as I said before, this one's probably a bit too small for your leopard gecko, so I would suggest getting a bigger one. But once that is done, you can pop it in the tank, and I do think that leopard geckos can be quite curious, so it should attract the attention of your gecko, and they should come over and have a little look at this. I hope this has been helpful. Remember, there's a helpful link in the description below. Thank you very much for watching, and goodbye.